Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Evidence, and in today's video, I am going to show you how to calculate percentiles in NumPy and in Python. So, in this video series, I've been showing you how to do NumPy aggregation methods. So, we've done sum, we've done product, we've done mean and median, we've done standard deviation and variance, we've done maximum and minimum, and today's video will be focused on getting percentiles using numpy and python so let me go ahead and import numpy as np and earlier in this notebook i went ahead and imported our data frame and this is a preview of what the data frame looks like it's a wine data frame so with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So doing percentiles in NumPy is very easy and straightforward. You just do np.percentile. And um, let, we are going to run a few of these. Let's just start by doing, um, if you just put in um, df, right? Right here it says that the first input should be array like. And then um, the second input should be the percentile or sequence of percentiles to compute. All right. So if we just put in um, DF right here, it's going to throw an error saying that we are missing the required argument, which is what percentiles to calculate. So let's go ahead and put in a list. So let's just do the regular, which is like the zero or... Uh, Let's do 25 percentile, 50 percentile, 75 percentile. And now let's run this. So it gives us um, three numbers, which is like the 25 percentile for the whole data frame, the 50 percentile for the whole data frame, and the 75 percentile for the whole data frame. Now, if we want to get accurate information for percentile, we have to input a column so let's um do something like our beverages now we have the percentiles for the all beverages column and this is the 25 percentile the 50 percentile the 75 percentile for all beverages column now you can um do other numbers so let's say we can do the zero percentile which is like the minimum value and then the 10 percentile we can do weird stuff um like the i don't know the 17th percentile you know and we can also do something like the 100th percentile we can do weird stuff like uh the 52 percentile so basically you can put in um the percentiles you want to get all here and then you run this and it gives you back all those numbers okay so basically in a nutshell this is how you use numpy's percentile module now to get percentiles in regular python you have to use the statistics module or the, or the scipy module so here let's go ahead and import statistics And now we do statistics.quantile. And I'm going to tell you up front that this is not going to work because the statistics.quantile's module is only available in Python 3.8 and above. So if we go here to the documentation statistics.quantile and here you provide MD data, right? And um, you can see that this is new in version 3.8 and above. So in this Google Colab that I'm using right now, the ver Python version I'm using is Python 3.6. So I don't have access to this right now. So if I run this, it's going to throw an error. But just know that if you're using Python 3.8 or above, this is how you'd use the statistics module to calculate and percentiles. And here, if you look at the documentation, as you can see, the default is 4, which is 
the number of quarters, which is um, 25, 50, 75, and 100 percentile. And then if you set N equal to 10, it will give you like the 10 percentile, 20 percentile, 30, 40, 50, 60, all the way to um, 100. Okay, so N right here, the default is 4. But if you want to get specific percentiles, you can change um, what this N number is. So this is like kind of like the best way I found to, let's say, do percentile calculation just using um, regular Python without using a library like NumPy. But um, NumPy is still like the best, well, one of the best for calculating percentiles. So what's even better than using NumPy to calculate percentiles is to use Pandas to calculate percentiles. So... Here, I'm just going to go ahead and do import pandas as pd. Pandas has something called um, the describe function. All right. And to use it, you just do df, your data frame dot describe. And just doing that gives you the percentiles for every single column. All right. So if you're using NumPy, you have to specify the column for you to get the accurate percentiles. But with pandas um, describe method, you can get um, the percentiles for every single column. So, and also using pandas and um, describe, you can specify the percentiles. You can specify what to include and what to exclude. We can provide a list. For example, okay, so here the default is 25 percentile, 50 and 75 percentile. So let's go back here and let's type in a list. Let's do something like um, 0 0.10, 0 0.16, why not? 0 0.52, 0 0.98 or 99. Let's go ahead and run this. Now we have um, those percentiles added. Okay, so we have the 10 percentile, 16 percentile, 50 percentile, or uh, 50 percentile, 52 percentile, and 98 percentile. And it also gives us the maximum and the minimum. All right. And the good thing about using pandas um, describe functions is that you can save it to a data frame. So if we can do. Um, Test equal to df dot describe. Uh, let me just take this right here. And let's run this. Now if we do um test dot head, it gives us this exact same information, but it gives us only the first five row. Dot head just give you the first five row. That is because this right here is stored as a data frame. And because it is a data frame, you can treat it like one. So you can do something like test, and then you can get information just for year. And um, just like that, you have the information just for year. And you can um, work with this just like any other um, data frame. Just by putting in zero, it just gives you the information corresponding to year and count. And you can also use the index names to um, get the value that you need. So you can do year and then mean, and then year and then 10%. And it gives you um, that value right here. So that is how to get percentiles using NumPy, Pandas, and Python. So with NumPy, np the percentile. You provide the array, you provide the percentiles that it should give you. And with Python, if you have Python 3.8 or above, you can use the statistics module. And you can also use pandas describe um, to get these percentiles. And then um, you can save it as a data frame and then you can index it just like any other data frame. That's it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you made it this far in this video but you didn't like it, please give it a double thumbs down and still subscribe to the channel.
you can get um, access to this notebook that I use in today's video by going to machinelearningeducation.com and once you are here you can click on free data science resources and it will take you um, to this page. So this page right here is how you get access to my notebook and uh, my data science tutorial notebooks. I create a lot of YouTube videos and a, and a lot of blog posts and I just find it more easier and straightforward to take all my notebooks and put it in one place. So that's machinelearningeducation.com slash free to get access to today's notebook. And also, you can visit me online at evidencen.com. This is my primary website where I have my data science blog post. And as time goes by, I'll add more and more stuff to my data science blog post. And if you are here at evidencen.com, you can also go to free data science resources and you also be able to get to this page to get access to the notebook. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.